You're listening to the voice of IWA Flip here on Interfed Radio. With me today in studio, Commissioner of the Louisiana Swamp League, the man himself, Shane. Shane, welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Oh man, glad to have you over there in your uh, on your side of town in studio with you. We got the beautiful Brandy. Brandy, welcome to the show. Hi, Ian. <laughs> Doing great, Brandy. Glad to have you on again with us. And uh, in the background with us, as always, we got those uh, nasty boys from Salvation. Tim, Jerry, you guys there? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm here. <laughs> nice, nice. I, like, like I told, uh, like I told Tim and Jerry, I go, hey, you know what? This is the commissioner uh side of the lsl show so we got to kind of tone it down a little bit our exclusive uh, trash talk uh, show there for the louisiana uh swamp league if you haven't checked it out uh go ahead and check the playlist uh look for the ldts show the run down all the trash talk going on here in the louisiana swamp league and uh and more <laughs> and more so uh but this show here is our uh, commissioner side uh now commissioner you're going to go ahead and uh pass the pass the ball to uh to Jerry to read over our champions for the 203rd cycle of the Louisiana Swamp League. Yep, our brand new co-commissioner, Mr. Woo-hoo! Gerald Horton. Nice. Well, thank you, Mr. No Hold What an honor. Hard, hard rock. Nice. I love it. What, yes. What uh, what champions do you got on your list over there? Okay, I'm gonna start from the top right now. Right now we have the World Swamp Champion from SOS Brandon Berserker Balm. Nice. He's actually pretty good. He is really good. And yeah, I have had many matches with him. I only had one victory over him and he's gotten better. Now now correct me if I'm wrong, but uh SOS uh came on strong uh uh recently. I I, I know I've been seeing them. I mean I, I don't remember them early on, but yeah, they've 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 made an impact here. Mm-hmm. Very big impact. Yeah. Okay. And the next one we have is the Ameri- American Extreme Champion, DOD, Big Mama Red. That's Big right. Mama? I knew she'd be able to do it. Man, oh, yeah. man you, know what, you know what? All them Reds are tough as nails. But Big Mama, she's like that hammer. Like, oof, like come, yep. get, come get some. Head in the nail, here comes the hammer. And she's, she's tough. She's the heavyweight out of the girls. Hey, mm-hmm. hey, hey, you know what? There ain't no messing with Big Mama. Let me tell you that. Watch out. I feel sorry for Mr. Uh, Red Rum Vandetta. You picked the wrong woman to mess with, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Is that who jumped him in the back? Yeah, you know what? I I, I think we revealed that uh, the, the last time we were uh, kind of chopping it up. You know, mm-hmm. they, they, they they messed up. They really did. Watch out there. Oh, yeah. Okay. The next one, and this one, of course, is going to be my favorite. The King <laughs> South champion, Salvation's Chains Lockdown Malloy. That's right. You, you, you know what, uh, Commissioner uh, Shane, when you uh, when you signed this gentleman, it was only a matter of time before he got some gold around his belt. Yeah, and, he, he's really been going really good. Yeah, and, and, and the way he brought it, I mean, it's one thing to just win a title, but to you know, win it via the battle royal. You know, that's just oof, that's just even more uh, add more injury to insult to all those people he threw out. It's like, you know what? Not only am I going to throw you out, but I'm going to throw you out, and I'm going to become the king of the south. Okay, well, but hold on one second, there. I got a congratulation to give out for that battle royal too. He also won the Gauntlet of Hell Swamp Championship with, with that battle royal one. That's right. Whew. I mean, that's the way you do it, Lockdown. Not only do you bring home the Battle Royal, but you bring home not one, but two yep. belts, brother. And he Think chose, that. and he didn't cower his way out of this one. He <laughs> even chose his next five opponents for that title. Nice. Nice. That, oh, that, yeah. You know, that's the, that's the way to work. they are all tough. Nice. Yep, very proud of Lockdown. And like I said, don't ever doubt the guy because he will – Come out of swinging, and what he says he's gonna do, he does it. He oh, says yeah. he he said it was his, and by God, it's his. Nice. Yep. <laughs> yep. Driving down the highway on his bike with those two belts. <laughs> I could I could just imagine the two belts like flapping in the wind. 
<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what what is it? it? Instead of uh, you, you know how the uh, back in the days, uh, s- some of the girls' bikes used to have the streamers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can, <laughs> not not that uh, lockdown is uh is feminine in any way, but you know I I, I got that yeah, image. Yeah, but his of... his streamers are badass. They're gold, <laughs> oh yeah, they're gold. Yeah, definitely <laughs> badass, brother. Yep. They are championship belts. Now, That's right. He's going, yeah, and no. that ain't, he ain't stopping there either. Oh, no. Now, now guys, uh, uh, before we keep reading down this list, I, I know we gave him a shout-out on our last show. Now, I know he's on his way out, but he did make a heck of a run this last uh, last cycle he was here. I mean, uh, shout-out shout out to SJ. Uh, good luck on your ventures uh, outside of uh, the LSL. Uh, thanks again. Thanks again for understanding, uh, Mr. S. J. Sharif Johnson. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Sharif. Thank you for understanding, Sharif. Yeah. Yep. And uh, who who do you got next on that list, there, Gerald? Okay. The next is the Southern Heritage Champion, Edge Hydra Gold Dust. That's a shock. <laughs> yep. That's the person who's leaving. Yeah. All these uh, all all these uh, guys are. Uh, they made it. They made an impact, yeah. But to see Goldust up there, yeah. Ah, yeah. Poor, you know. It's about time he won something. Our next one is the primetime elite champion, Edge Hydra, Jurassic Jim Powers. Now, now this sob, this last cycle, there was more attacks. Mm-hmm. And and it seemed almost like there was uh, an imposter going around, right? Someone claimed he was uh, Jim Powers and beat somebody up, and a whole, whole bunch of mess. But now, now that I see the name on the title page, I'm like, wait a minute, it all it all makes sense. He's on his yep. way out, you know, attacking some. Yeah, yeah uh, you know, I'll, I'll, it's kind of like that CM Punk uh, attitude, brother. I'm gonna leave, and I'm gonna mess everything up for everybody. Like, I, I'm yep. just gonna, you know, that bum. Jim yep. Powers. And the next one we have is the Brass Knuckles champion, Edge Hydra, Shadow Reaper. Yeah, Man, these, guys, these, these guys got loaded records, bro. So they wherever, do. I, I feel bad for whatever uh, league is going to take them in. Cause, probably wow. YJL. Yeah, probably. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Come on, come on over. Right there, there, there we got an even playing field. They're going to have a tough outside DLSL. Yeah. Yep. And here we go. Looks like uh, who's our who's our colossal champion here? Our There's colossal God. fear champion is Edge Hydra, the total package. S J Perfect. Mister S J Perfect. Yep, he's Look, another one. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. They 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 cleaned house this cycle, man. I'm glad. Uh, but but then I mean I, a, a little bit of a sidebar. How, how many did you? Uh, how many fighters did he have there, uh, Shane? He 20. had one, I believe. Wow. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's uh, that's uh, three times more than you know any other manager there, and some. You know, yeah. So, yeah. You know, yeah. If he's not, if he wasn't scoring, I would begin to worry. So, I'm glad he got his gold on the way out. Now, um, ah, uh, oh, El Chico himself is up next, huh? Yep, the North El American Chico. champion. Edge, Hydra, Razor, Ramon. That doesn't hey, shock Chico, me. Razor, Ramon. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you know what? I really wish, I really do, that he would have decided to just cut his roster. But I know it doesn't fit his playing style. I get it. Cause yeah, so I, I get a kick at seeing some of these classic names. I know Shane. I know you get a kick out of uh, out of seeing some classics in you know in the mix. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I definitely love the classics. Yeah. I mean, look at look, look who our Iron Fist champion is. I mean, I haven't heard that name, and right when I read it, I'm like... Oh, yeah, I got to give this person credit yet again. The Iron Fist champion is Edge Hydra American Dream SJ Perfect. Another the, Ameri- the American Dream, I'm telling you. Well, right. like I said, he's on his way out, but what a way to go out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and then now, now, now someone someone that didn't uh that isn't leaving but is definitely a familiar name in the steel and 
I'll, I'm going to go ahead and let you read it, Jerry. What, 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 who's that next champion you see there? The next champion is the first blood champion from the Battle Royal is Prince Tear. Prince yeah, Tear. Yeah, he is actually pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah. He He's in AWL as well. Th- that's what I was going to ask you, Tim. I mean, because I know you're you're in a few other yes, leagues. I, yes, I do. I do believe that's the same manager. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, he's he, really good. He's definite, and he's definitely a fan of the steel. I mean, because he, uh, yeah, yeah, like I said, he's I, defi- I, he he definitely also brought over King of Chili's. Oh, yeah. oh that bum! I know that and guy do, well, and I do believe he is the manager <laughs> of Mina Colossus. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. So he brought he brought over his uh, his trio, huh? But I am not totally sure about the Mina Colossus. Ah. Yeah. But I know that they did team up and win some six mans together. I like it. Who who do we got who do we got on that southern side? Okay, this one here, the Southern Hardcore Champion is SOS Almighty Alvin Amos. Nice. Triple yeah. Triple A himself. Mm-hmm. Oh, Robbie Blood. Mm-hmm. Not shocking <laughs> yeah, no. there, Robbie's good. The last champion, the barbed wire champion is Edge Hydra, Hellmaster Hank Bowers. Now Hank, Hank and Jim are brothers, or or is that uh? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, nice. Good old, good old uh, Jim and Hank Bowers, man. Congratulations. Huh? What a way for that all those guys to go out like they are as champions, and that's gonna right there. That's gonna free up a lot of titles too once they're gone. I mean, uh-uh. those are all fair game now. I'll tell you this: this is definitely one of those cycles that. You have to join the Battle Royal because there's going to be a lot of vacated titles. and uh, Or you could just challenge those people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. If he goes to a different league, then titles would definitely be easy pickings. Oh, yeah. Sure. I definitely agree. <laughs> go, 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 and get some, uh, go and get some gold this cycle. Pipsqueak. Might as well. Yeah. <laughs> Get some real gold, not that fake gold that you found in the trash can, you bum. That's right. <laughs> you, you found the old Lucha Championship, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Hard Rock said something about re redoing the title of Pipsqueaks. Like re- rebranding yeah, yeah. it? Or, or, yeah, or we like... can call it the Midget Weight Championship. <laughs> of the world. Well, I don't think that's what he means. I mean, he's telling he's telling me he needs to make it more presentable, and I'm like, okay, whatever that means. <laughs> don't give don't think- give that don't give that little runt what he needs, man. That that little runt got to earn his uh, his actual gold, not this uh, not trash can sp- gold, not the trash yeah, can not- gold that he found. <laughs> we could we could call him the hobo LSL hobo champion. <laughs> You're a jerk. Yeah, yeah. Since he found <laughs> the belt in the dumpster. The key. Yeah. Close to the key. <laughs> Poor Pips Week. But who, who, who do we got as our tag team champions there on uh, on 203? All right. The tag team champions are SOS Soul Soul Justice Warrior and SOS Alternative Right Man. Nice. Yep. Them are the two that are in the finals with me. Nice. That's going to be a good match. Yeah, it really is. And Julia Rain presents the belts to the winners. Yes, that's right. Now, now we just now we just talked about Prince uh, Prince Tear, mm-hmm. and, and, and and did he? Did, am I looking? Am I seeing this right? Did he bring next... home? A, did he bring home a triple crown? He got his his uh, singles. Well, he brought well, his will... tag and six, right? Yep, for the yeah. TV tag team champions, I present Prince Tear and Awesome Mina Colossus. Nice. Nice. Very good tag team. It'll take a it'll take a good strategy to beat them. Oh yeah. Yep. And, 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 yeah, look at look right there. Say it. And can, I gotta say this, congratulations again, six band champions. Prince Tear, King Achilles, and awesome Mina Colossus. Nice. nice. That's right. Congratulations to that manager. Now now I had heard I had heard this mentioned in this in this way. Where obviously a, a true a triple crown, you would bring home the league championship. In a, in a similar fashion, I, I guess uh, uh, 
the other commissioner called this uh, a junior triple crown, where you bring home any singles, any tag, yeah, that, and, and any true. six. You know, so yeah, congratulations, Prince here. Mm -hmm. A little junior, junior triple crown. Yeah. And now we now the TV six man champions. This is Edge Hydra, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, Mister Fantastic, and Edge Hydra, Razor Ramon. Nice, nice. It's like they went all out before they were leaving. Just decided we're taking all the gold. They did it. Now they're leaving, and yeah, they can't take the belts with them. But what a way to go out! Definitely. Oh yeah. No, and uh, and and who was our battle royal winner this cycle? We said uh, Chains. Yep. yep, Chains Lockdown Malloy was the battle royal winner. I see. Came down between nice. him and Prince Tear. Yeah. Now, um, we got we got one more. He threw out Prince Tear at the end. You said? I believe he did. Nice. I was I, I was already moving on, but that's a you know what that's going to set off some fireworks because. Well, like the, it came I, down. That did come down. That battle royal Hard Rock was one of the came out was Hard Rock Chains and. I believe Prince Tear, and then it came down where Prince Tear eliminated, eliminated Hard Rock, and then it came down between him and Chains. Chains threw him out, so he was with two Salvation guys there, and now one of them won. I'm thinking, dude, you're going against two Salvation members, and you know, you, yeah, you, you, you may throw, yeah. You, you know what I see, Jerry? Hmm. I, I got this picture in my head, and I got Lockdown, I got Hard Rock, and I got the Prince in the ring. And I just imagined, you know, like Hard Rock and Lockdown, like staring at each other. And in their, in their competitive spirit, they're like, we know we can just throw this guy out and have a, and have a match. But they were just kind of like, you know what? Do you want him? You want to try him? You want to, you know, that, that, that's what I imagine when I see those three guys oh, yeah. in the ring, you know, because obviously Hard Rock and uh, Lockdown could have easily just picked up the Prince and took him out. But they're so competitive that. They're like, you try them first, brother. You go ahead and get them. You know, th throw them yeah. out. Have your fun. And then, you know, who knows? He probably just... Well, uh, Hard Rock got a little too overconfident and yeah, underestimated that him. And that, then, prince, that, that prince is a sneaky little SOB. Yeah, he got away from Hard Rock, but Chains was the one who capitalized and threw him over. <clears throat> nice. That's right. And even Hard Rock was laughing at Prince Tear when he hit the floor like, yeah, how's it feel, punk, and clapping for Chains? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. Now, now, Shane, uh, I know Tim mentioned the other belt that uh, Lockdown won at that Battle Royal was the... Gauntlet of Hell Swamp champion. The Gauntlet what? of Hell Swamp. Nice. Now, uh, so we got we got uh, Lockdown with, uh, with the Goddess of Hell Swamp championship uh, right now, and you said he's going to be defending against no, five... Five uh, different people. Nice. Now, is that going to be uh, five five separate that, matches, Tim? Or yes, it is. They will have to go through a gauntlet to get to him. Nice. Whoever the winner is out of those five people will take on chains. Oh, gotcha. So, so he picked the five. The five are going to go into a gauntlet match. Winner, and, winner of that. Winner gets that, that title match will <clears throat> also be on the same cycle as well. Nice, nice. Okay, so everything everything happens on, within that cycle. Yes, I'll be sending in those matches. I got confirmation from Kim that I can also make five free matches and never my five free matches. Cool. That, 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 that'll work. I mean, uh, now now just in case just in case some managers aren't aware, Tim. I mean, uh, obviously there's a lot of tools that are provided uh, to the commissioners to kind of help them determine uh, uh, wins and losses. You know, different That's commissioners right. use different tools. Uh, these yeah. matches, these matches that uh, Tim's saying are actually going to be signed. They will be in the bulletin. So just an added, an added perk uh, for being a manager in the Louisiana Swamp League is to get these extra uh, championship matches, you know? Correct. It, the funny thing is, it had to be five different managers. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. No. That. that you know what? At least like that, it it makes it a little diverse, and it. Uh, yeah. It, it'll it'll make it fun. Now, uh, uh, I'm I'm drawing a blank, but I'm not really. Uh, I, I I think the next belt I want to go over is uh, the Gator Bait. Who, who's our current Gator Bait champion? 
That would be um, Catfish Joseph. Nice. Cat, Catfish Joseph is our uh, Gator Bait champion, so make sure uh, you want that, that sure shot at. challenge him. Yeah. You, don't, oh, yeah. you don't have to put Gator Bait on the match. Just challenge him. Yeah, I, I mean, we we, uh, we mentioned that a few shows back uh, when Pips Week was uh, going crazy trying to get a trying to get a title shot. We said we told Pips Week not to not to demand any more title shots, but uh, yeah, earn them, earn it, earn it, or right. signed or sign a match against the champion Pips Week. That's right. what, that's what's available. Yeah, Pips Week. My brother may not protect you next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. He protected him against Hard Rock last cycle. It's like, don't kill him. So watch yeah. out. <laughs> and this Wait. time, you know, this time my my brother's not going to be around. Eric Fontaine's not going to be around to protect him. So lighten up, Pipsqueak. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now, uh, so that was the Gator Bait. What about? Uh, I know. Uh, I know our Impact uh, Championship got switched up. It's now our uh, uh, X Division, right? The division's called the X Division, and the title is going to remain Grand Impact Champion until Beautiful. WrestlePalooza. I like it. I like it. Now, who's uh, who's the current uh, Division X Champion, or is it vacated right now? I believe right now it's vacated. Nice. It yeah, was because Puma, just, Puma had it, and then Puma retired, right? It was King Puma, and then he retired, and then he spoke to Julia about coming back, so now... It's a vacated title that's going to be decided at WrestlePalooza. I and like the it. same match that was made. Yep. It'll be King Puma against Ricky Steamboat. Woohoo! Yep. And Eric Fontaine made it known that he is in the X division. He doesn't care who the champion is. He's coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's like he's like I don't give a rat's butt. Like whoever it is. To, and don't forget to go after that American, I mean, that G-Force championship either. Now, now who's our, who, good, good reminder, who's our G-Force champion right now? Crazy Chad Red. Oh, yeah. Now, Crazy Chad Red, he's a DOD? Is it? Yeah. Nice. I like that it. That is actually my son. He decided to join DOD. I like it. DOD is big right now there. He's got a big match coming up in Wrestlepalooza, too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, He's what, what, what what other champions are we missing? I mean, I I know we got the current uh, uh, the current Diamond Drop champion is of course uh, Big uh, Buck's mistake. Uh, and who who else am I missing on this uh, Commissioner's Championship list? Uh, the women's. I, aha. Violent oh. Victoria Red. The right. views. How could we forget Peter. about Miss uh, Gaslock herself? <laughs> <laughs> that's hard. That's Hard Rock's main squeeze. And and, and speaking of speaking of Hard Rock and uh, bringing his uh, squeeze uh, a little tighter, uh, it looks like uh, the Violent One has decided to join Salvation, uh, along with a few other uh, mean girls. Man, looks like uh, uh, the Glamazon and uh, Brittany have also decided to join Salvation. So, the Demon oh, Assassin. Yeah. The demon I'm going to tell herself. you something right now. This feud between Raven and Victoria is finished after Wrestlepalooza. They better shake hands. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, you know you know what, brother? I mean, uh, let's say it like it is. Both of them are, are tough competitors. You know, not everybody got to be the best of friends within their, uh, you know, their yeah, little faction yeah. within their group. Yeah, so, that's true because uh, Scott Steiner couldn't. Couldn't even, uh, didn't even like Hulk Hogan. So yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, as long as I talked to Raven yesterday, and she said that whether she wins or loses that match, she will definitely shake Violent Victoria Red's hand, no matter what happens. Yeah, that's uh, you know, that's part of wrestling. Well, I mean, you know, you know what? Oh, yeah. Could could you imagine the locker room talk back in the days, man? I mean, you had. And and I'm not even talking about, you know, the 80s. I'm talking about, like, back in the days when people were actually, like, when they would travel from show to show, and all of a sudden you're in the locker room with somebody like Abdullah the Butcher, and you're like, who in the, what the, who in the, like, oh, my goodness, like. Oh, yeah. So, ah. <laughs> so Shane and Jerry, should we mention these two fatal four-way matches? 
What are those? You know, for that one championship, that Interfed Steel championship, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. to see who will become number one contender. Oh, nice. yeah. Nice. Should we mention it now or wait until next? <laughs> Should mention dun, it. Dun, 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 dun. Now, now let, 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 before you mention them, uh, uh, Tim, let me go ahead yeah. and give everybody a little bit of a, of a back uh, – a little, little bit of a background on uh, what's going on with the steel and that uh, interfed championship. Uh, you know, a few, well, like, a few, a few of the commissioners that are in the steel have decided to kind of uh, travel a league, and uh, I, I think they've they've mentioned it in the same sense that the NWA used to travel. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's going it's going from region to region. It's go, it's going everywhere. I mean, so and, and you know to to bring it into the IWA, I mean it, uh, this belt is traveling from league to league within the Steel Federation. Uh, commissioners have a calendar that they follow. Uh, I myself I commission the MUL. I know Shane commissions uh, this league. I know Will Wisdom commissions the AWL. Uh, John Davis is uh, commissioning the CCL. Actually, I heard that, that it's now Dennis Hammock. Ah, nice. Congrats. Yeah. And, and and I believe they're all, everyone that I've just mentioned is still going to stay within the within the Steel Interfed uh, calendar. And as, you know, when the Steel Interfed title is, is scheduled to come to your league as a commissioner. I, I had a talk with Will today about the yeah. other Interfed title they got. Oh, nice. Yeah, they got the women's one. Yeah, he said he'd talk to CCL and see what they can come up with to see if they can add us in there. Nice. That'll work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know they were a little hesitant because uh, they, they weren't aware of, as to how many other uh, steel leagues had women's divisions. So, But, I mean, it, it, it is fun to see these leagues come around. And uh, as Timothy mentioned, uh, the... It's coming. It's coming. It's coming to our league. It's coming in a few cycles. So, in order for us to determine our number one contender, you we will have, have two fatal four way matches. The winner of those two matches will go one on one. Nice. Oh yeah. For, for a shot at the steel. Now, now, Jerry, you mentioned, uh, you know, w- winning a title. This is one of those titles that's like, like holy moly, like. Okay, this now, is the I, holy grail of steel. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, we, with, I mean, and and let's say it like it is. I mean, in terms of the trash talk style that we like to play, guys. I mean, this is one of those titles that if you can manage to have your fighter come even compete for this title, I mean, just wow. I mean, because it, yeah. yeah, it's it's fun to see these titles uh, competed <laughs> for and contested for. Oh yeah, definitely. Now, now, Tim, who, who, who's in these uh, two fatal four ways? I'm curious to see who's. Uh... I, I know that in one of them, we do have Catfish John and Eric Fontaine. I oh, think yeah, my brother. Same. I think they're in the same one. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, Captain Blood. And who was that third one? Wasn't it one of the one of my kids? Oh, yeah, uh... one of your kids. Which one was it, though? I'm just trying to think who the other one was. Was it Crazy Chad Red? I think it might have been Crazy Chad Red. Yeah, yeah, that's the first fatal four-way match. So we got, oh, yeah. So we the got, second we got one. Catfish, we got Catfish, uh, John. You said Eric Fontaine. My brother. Crazy Chad Red. And Captain Blood. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And, and, like I for, said, uh, and for the second one, I do believe War Goddess was in that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, BTY, sh- one of Shane's guys, I think it was Shane Cole. Yeah, but, but yeah, War, but... Goddess, War Goddess and BTY are two, you know, yeah, two standouts, definitely. Oh, wait, Hard. and I think Willow Wick Nightmare was in one. He was another one. That that old bum, <laughs> bum. Well. Oh, nightmare. You know what? I just I I just hope he doesn't have a heart attack in the ring. 
Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. I mean, yeah, yeah. One, it's not fine. like he it's not like he gets to fight his own brother every now and then, you know. He gets well, to fight BTY in this. Yeah. One yeah. last that I have is the the one that Tim said, Eric Fontaine versus Catfish John versus Crazy Chad Red versus Captain Blood. Yep. He it was why? War Goddess, BTY, Willowick Nightmare. I thought it was I thought you said Shane Cole. Oh, yeah, that. Shane Cole. Uh-huh. And more of the four. Nice. Okay. Could you could you imagine it ended up being Eric Fontaine and Shane Cole against each other again? Nice. Hell yeah. That, that would, would be awesome. Match. Those two have more respect for each other. I I'll tell you what, after their their match where after the previous cycle where it was an honor match where Shane Cole came up, shook his hand and said, I honored you and shook his hand and everything back in the locker room. I was talking to both Shane and Eric and I'm saying, you guys tuned it up tonight. Those fans yeah. were out of their seats. People in the locker room were seeing how well you guys just went at it. I mean, these were two guys that were just, you know, not really, I don't want to be insulted by saying not top stars, but these are two guys just out of the ordinary that just surprised you and had such a damn good match. It's like, where did that come from? No, oh, that man. was the proof. That was the proof right there that they can be top stars. They can yeah. be. And oh, I agree. There was also there's also um truth to this rumor that Eric Fontaine and Shane Cole want to tag up. Yeah. That'll be awesome. Yeah, that'll Could be. Can you amazing. imagine the, that? I mean, those two. I mean, Eric and his martial arts skills and Shane his wrestling skills. I mean, what kind of duel they they'd be an awesome duel. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you, you you know what guys? I mean, with uh, with the number of tag teams that have uh, that have formed, we it, it may be time for uh, for a tag team uh, bracket. Not not even a tag team bracket, just like a little mini tournament for the summer with all our tag teams. You know. Yeah, I do like yep. it. And the winner, and the winner. This is actually a good idea. The winner oh. gets a shot at the. Extreme television tag team titles. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that. Why not? Sounds like a good idea Call to me. The... Summer Clash. I, I like it, yeah. Summer Clash. That, that's the name of the pay-per-view, but the race to Summer Clash, we can call it. Have it like, you know, not only they get a shot at the ta- Extreme Tag Belts, but why not have it where they win a trophy and $50,000? You know, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, and and I'm stealing this. I'm stealing this from uh from some of the other commissioners. Let's have a, a an imaginary money buy-in. Yeah, so that's something something to think about, guys. Yeah, I, I I'd be in. Hey yo, do you think we could get a plaque for the winning team? Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, one of us needs to talk to Kimberly about this, but. We I, can think, definitely. I think we can get an okay for this. Have, have we covered all the champions? Like I said, I know, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I yeah, we these covered shows. them all. The uh, only other um, thing that we that that all the management had decided was for the manager of the cycle was Double R Rob Ratliff. Woo-hoo. Oh, yeah. big, Congrats, sh- big shout out! Congratulations to Rob. He's earned it. Yeah, congrats, Rob. You earned it, brother. He got ten thousand dollars for for winning that. I love it. Well love served. It. Now, yep. now, uh, I I know we got we got a lot going on, and and I'll I'll be dead honest with you guys. I mean, when I I said this to a couple of the other guys, and I told them I go, you know what? Sometimes you do a show and you gotta kind of like pull teeth to to find stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I literally have to slow us down to be able to fit the show within the <laughs> within the because there's so much to talk about. Oh, and it's yeah. awesome, and it really is, it, dude. Guys, I mean, I I know right before we recorded this one, this was like last minute. You know, we're you know, my, especially after the issues I had with my PC, and just to be able to get you guys on a on a on such a short notice, without any prep, without any notes, without anything, we can just get on here discuss the champions and that to me that's the beauty of the iwa guys i mean i mean this is what i think the iwa is you know this this kind of work this this, you know conversations that we're having to push a product forward to me is yeah i I enjoy the booking aspect of it as much as uh as much as anyone else does i mean obviously i'm i'm real big on the trash talk so 
you know, to be able to book a match. And then, you know, obviously now I got something to talk about. And, uh, dude, I, ha- I had such a blast yesterday, you know, chatting up with, uh, uh, with, with Catfish Rob on the Facebook. We were going back and forth. You know, we're, oh, uh, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, I even got in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and, just, and, and, and I made a you... dumpster match. <laughs> there you <laughs> go, yeah. And, 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 and that's the fun part. See, from, you know, from Trash Talk that built up from the pay-per-view coming up, we added more Trash Talk that led to another match down the, you know, before the pay-per-view. So it's awesome, guys. It really is, man. That's right. And it's oh, a yeah. dumpster match. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's so much... So much we're doing right now. I mean, I'm yep. I've been enjoying this for my for my experience right now in the IW. I've had more fun now doing this. You know, it's starting to feel like when I first started, I was having fun doing that, and then you know, kind of hit a bump in the road a little bit. And yeah, but then you got really, really, really good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I I, I think I, I think you said it, uh, Jerry, and. Uh... I, I think we I think we all can agree that you know everyone's gonna have you know their bumps, but yeah. I think I, I think when you're with friends, it doesn't matter. No, that's right. It really it's because, it's always funner. It's always funner to feud with friends than your enemies. Oh yeah. Right. I, I mean, well, I mean, I, I mean, we we've uh, we've already said this numbers of times. I mean, and I know we're we're kind of uh, sidebarring a little bit, but. Yeah, if you're if you're in a league and you're just you're having a hard time getting over, maybe maybe the league is good. I mean, I'm not I'm yeah, not going to take a, anything. Get a hold of one of the commissioners. Yeah, not not to not to say that the LSL isn't good, but I think uh, I think our cast is a little more understanding to newer players. There are a lot of great leagues out there that have veteran players that are not. <laughs> are not going to get your fighters over as as quickly no. you know, because because they have such a deep rep. I mean, let's just say it like it is. I mean, you. I, I think that's one of those things, guys. Also, you know, just the human aspect of uh, of the league. You know, hey, you know what? Everybody here knows each other. Knows we're going through our own personal struggles, and oh yeah, you know that's that's. Uh, I think that's what makes it more homey here in the LSL. Is, is there anything? Is, is there anything else we want to put on this show here? Is Hard is Hard Rock still in training for Brett? <laughs> yeah, he's still I in training. It. I mean, right right now he he's taking some advice from me and another friend, just one match at a time. You know, you got Buck's mistake. Do not take him lightly, and everything right. is a champion for a reason. And Hard Rock says he's leaving with that belt. Yeah, he's like, watch out, watch out, Mister Mistake. Nice. I, I, I'm yeah. sorry, but I I really think Hard Rock's going to wind up beating Brett and put Brett out of the LSO altogether. I, I'm just I'm just curious as to whether he's going to beat him fair and square, actually, or whether or, or whether or whether Johnny's going to have something to do with actually, that. Actually, I already made a ruling on that one. Johnny no, ain't no. making no entrance into this match. Nice, put your Lucky foot down. Lucky Strikes is going to be holding on to it. And after the match, if he wants to beat the crap out of Brett, he can have his sledgehammer back because I won't be standing right there by the ring. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brett took a trip to to Julie Rain's office with, and also Lucky Stars was there, and I was sitting right next to him, and they told him this. You're not taking Johnny down there. You take it down there, you're gone. Nice. You, be... you nice can so. use Johnny after the match, but not during. <laughs> and yeah, and also I I've also made a note with our new salvation members that we have, Brittany Cross and Victoria Violet Victoria Red, and also now with Raven Phoenix added to the mix, that all the salvation Hello? knows. That my time is going to be divided with is going to be with Eric most of the time, getting him to the top. But I'll still be around for Salvation supporting the brothers in and everything. But for his corner, his corner person is going to end up being Brittany Cross. Nice. nice. So look out for her. And Violent Victoria yep. Red will be down there as well. That's right. Beautiful so and dangerous. Yep. Oh yeah. And Raven said she's going to be down there keeping an eye on things too. Oh yeah, and that's right. And if you need BTY down there to make sure he don't try and escape you, I'll be there. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love it. 
But, you might wind up needing BTY because I was told that CM Punk bought a ticket to sit front row to see that match. He better just keep his nose out of it. Now, now, just just before we started recording, I was uh, I was talking to Tim about some more potential managers making their way. So keep keep an eye on the roster for some new names because I, I know other managers are coming. Man, we keep adding wrestlers each cycle. Dude, I I, I love it. I, I really do. I mean, uh, I mean, just look at what you've done here, guys. I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, I just it, it it's attracted it's attracted new we, talent. We actually had a twelve card jump. That's oh big. yeah. Now yeah. now Shane now Shane you got you got the printout from uh from the IWA because it also tells you how many new managers you got right. Zero. I think I think ten k is new. Okay. Um, so this was might, this was there this might was, be a couple others. This was their first cycle. Yeah, this was their first cycle. I do believe. Nice. So we added we added 10k. We added uh, IOD. We added uh, D, more DODs. We added. Okay. Oh yeah, them too. Yeah, so that's awesome, man. Team Bad is a new team that's in there as well. Team Bad made their debut. Nice. And don't and don't forget Brandon. Hey, there you go. And Brandon came. Yes. Yeah, Brandon is a newer manager. He is B. R. Anderson. Now, and, now, and there will be another one or two coming in next cycle. All right, guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and sign us off for uh, this uh, LSL Commissioner uh, show. Again, you've been listening to Commissioner Shane's World. Yeah, you've been listening to Shane's World with Commissioner Shane, Brandy, and of course uh, Tim, Jerry, and the rest of the Salvation crew. As for myself, IWA Flip, we'll see you guys next time.